Shabbat Shalom. This week's Torah portion, Parashat Yitro, includes the Ten Commandments. And of course, as we welcome Shabbat, we think about the commandment to observe this day, Zachor et Yom HaShabbat Lekad Show. You shall remember the Sabbath day and you shall make it holy. And our sages teach us that one of the ways we can make Shabbat holy is by setting it apart, making it Yom Meyuchad, a day that is unlike any other day. So we invite you this Shabbat and every Shabbat to find time to take care of yourself and give yourself the gift of Sabbath rest. Read a book, take a nice long walk, get off the screen. Obviously, we want you to be on the screen for our service. But after that, get off the screen, enjoy a nice meal, pick up the phone and call someone important to you, someone close to you, wish them Shabbat Shalom, take time to meditate, take time for prayer, take time to study the Torah portion, whatever it is that can make this a Yom Meyuchad, a special day, a holy day for you. You deserve it. We all do. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Lehu ne ran na ne ran ne na haladonai naria naria betzuri sheinu. Lehu ne ran na ne ran ne na haladonai naria naria betzuri sheinu. Ne kad ma fanav ne kad ma fanav ne kad ma fanav. Ah. Uh-huh. 
Levi Hafter follows the Shema, and notably includes the words, Vishinantan Levanecha, usually translated, you shall teach this to your children. More literally, you shall repeat this to your children. Learning in the ancient world was repeating and memorizing stories, mottos, aphorisms, and poems. Books or scrolls were few, literacy was minim minimal, memorization was the key to acquiring knowledge. Today, thousands of years of that accumulated knowledge mean that memorization is only one small step on the path to wisdom. Vishinantam Levanecha, teaching our children, requires the cultivation of a range of skills. Children must be taught how to think for themselves, to sift between facts and falsehoods, to ask questions, to explore the vast repositories of human knowledge, to seek and gain answers. This week we celebrate our teachers. For nearly a year they have been plying their skills under the most demanding of circumstances called to innovate, recreate, and engage the two-dimensional window of a computer screen. 
The obstacles are enormous, and yet they persevere. Vishinantam levanecha, you shall teach your children. It's a tall order, requiring the combined forces of legions of educators, participating parents, and accommodation to the varieties of way that children learn. Vishinantam levanecha, important enough to be written into our prayers thousands of years ago, critical for success in our complex world today. And you shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might, and these words which I command. And you shall teach them to your children. And you shall speak of them. When you are at home. And when you are away. When you lie down and when you rise up. And you shall Oh, 
and spirit. May the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless and heal all of those who are ill. May the Blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for their health to be restored and their strength to be revived. May God swiftly send them a complete renewal of body and spirit, and let us say, Amen. Mi shebeirach avoteinu Mekor habracha leiboteinu May the source of strength Who blessed the ones before us Help us find the courage Make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. week's Torah portion, Moses' father-in-law Jethro arrives to find his son-in-law beleaguered from the incessant demands of leadership. Sensing his son-in-law's unease, Jethro advises Moses to share the burden of leadership with others. It's a beautifully human moment for our scripture, one which illustrates that even the best among us need inspiration. As we turn to our tefillah tonight, we seek the same inspiration to ease our burdens, to become the very best version of ourselves, and to help those around us. Please rise for our tefillah.
guardian of life and liberty. May our nation always merit your protection. Teach us to give thanks for what we have by sharing it with those who are in need. Keep our eyes open to the wonders of creation and alert to the care of the earth. May we never be lazy in the work of peace. May we honor those who have died in defense of our ideals. Grant our leaders wisdom and forbearance. May they govern with justice and compassion. Help us all to appreciate one another and to respect the many ways that we may serve you. May our homes be safe from affliction and strife. And our country be sound in body and spirit. Amen. Amen. After almost a year at home, I know so many of you like me are looking forward to the time that we get to travel to Israel again. 
It's with that hope in my heart that I hope you'll join me tonight for a prayer for the state of Israel. Avi nu shabashamayim tzur Yisrael v'go'alo barechet medinat Yisrael rishit zmichat ge'ulatenu O Heavenly One, protector and redeemer of Israel, bless the state of Israel, which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Shield it beneath the wings of your love, spread over it the canopy of your peace. Send your light and truth to all who lead and advise, guiding them with your good counsel. Establish peace in the land and fullness of joy for all who dwell there and all who love it. And together, let us say, Amen. Avi nu shabashamayim tzur Yisrael v'go'alo Amen Salah Amen Salah Shabbat Shalom Are there days when you wake up and for a moment, you don't realize we're in this pandemic. And then, of course, you realize that our world is very different than it was just 11 months ago. I miss my community and, in truth, my various communities, my friends, that's one community, the people I see every day at the temple, my colleagues, another community, members of the congregation, the Jewish community in general, and there's no question that different communities, just like different people in different cities, are facing different challenges. People taking care of elderly parents, parents taking care of young children, those who are infirmed, all different situations. And yet I've come to appreciate there is this sense that we're facing a common concern. There may be different views on how we should deal with it, but there is this feeling we're all in it together and that perhaps we can all learn from one another. The Torah portion this week is Yitro, Jethro. As you probably know, each Torah portion gets its name from the first significant word in the Torah portion. Jethro is Moses' father-in-law. He's not Jewish. There are three Torah portions in the Torah named for those who are not Jewish. The other two are Noah and Balak. Interestingly, there are three Torah portions also named for Jews, Sarah, Korach, and Pinchas. You know that expression, what's in a name? I think in the case of the Torah, there's a lot in a name. The fact that that our ancestors chose to name three of the Torah portions after non-Jews suggests to me that they understood we can learn from everyone. Actually, I'd go further. They understood we should even venerate others because the Torah has universal and moral teachings. We learn from the Torah to celebrate goodness and to celebrate good people irrespective of their religion, their ethnicity, their color, their beliefs. What is important is how they act. The Torah venerates Jethro, and in doing so, shows that it has an appeal not only to Jews, but to everyone. And perhaps that's why the Torah begins with the creation of the world and not the beginnings of the Jewish people. Yes, we Jews are to be an Am Segula, a chosen people, and an Or Lagoyim, a light unto the nations. But Jews are not given any different or better rights than anybody else. In fact, much the opposite. God holds us to higher standards. There's also something about Jethro that we can easily forget because it's mentioned, I believe, only once. But it's really quite important. 
and it's in the first line of the Torah portion. It begins, Jethro, the priest of Midian, heard all that God had done for Moses and Israel. Jethro, the priest of Midian. He's a Midianite priest. So not only is he not an Israelite, he much, very likely doesn't worship the same God. But that doesn't matter. What matters to the Torah is that, if, is that he's good. So if I may, I want to circle back to how I began. After I wake up, realizing we're facing these days, shower, get dressed, I typically go to my desk at home. And as I work, I'll look out the window, and if the weather is good, I'll see people taking walks. It might be my neighbor directly across the street. He and his wife are from India. Or my neighbor right next door, they're both from England. Or my brand new neighbors also across the street, a young Jewish couple with their toddler involved with the L.A. Jewish Federation. And sometimes I'll go to my dry cleaners, a small shop that I've been going to for 20 years, owned by a man named Andrew from South Korea, with whom over the years we've logged hours and hours talking about life. He and my neighbors, like the Torah, remind me this is one world. We are all in this together and we can learn so much from one another. Shabbat Shalom. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei peri agafen. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kitshanu v'mitzvotah v'ratzavanu, V'shabbat kotsho v'ahava u'v'ratzon hinchilanu, Zikaron l'mase v'reshit, Ki hu yom techila l'mikra e'kodesh, Zecher l'tziyat mitzrayim. Ki vanu v'achata l'otanu kitashta, Mikohamim Veshabbat Kotshecha Be'ahava Uberatzon Inchaltanu Baruch Atah Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon ha'kol, l'atet gedul ha'liot ser breshit, sh'lo asanu kegoye ha'aratzot, velo samanu kemishpechot ha'adamha, sh'lo sam chelkenu kahem, vegoraleinu kechol hamonam, v'anachnu koreim, u'mishtachavim u'modim, l'fne melech, Malchei hamlachim, hakadosh baruch hu. Venemar vhaya adonai, lemelech al kol haaretz. Bayom hahu, bayom hahu, iye adonai echad. Hushemo, hushemo. Ushemo Echad. If we were to build a memorial today for those our nation has lost to this epidemic, it would be nearly eight times the size of the Vietnam Memorial, longer than the width of the National Mall in Washington. By now, most of us have grieved or know someone close to us who has grieved, and the grieving isn't slowing down. Grief has become our anthem, but we can grieve together, and in so doing, give honor to the memory of those we cherish so dear, that we bid them, far too many of them, goodbye. We pray that their memory remain a blessing. Words of Kadish Sheton, the Mourner's Kaddish. 
יתקדר ויתקדר שמי רבה. ויאמר דברה חירותי וימליך מלכותי. וחיי חון וביומי חון וחיי דכל בית ישראל. בעגלה ובזמן קרי ואמרו אמן. יהי שמי רבה מבורך לעולם ולעולמי עולמיה. יתברך וישתבח ויתפורר ויתשלמם ויתנשא. יתהדר ויתעלה ויתעלה על שמי דקודשה וריחו. ואלה ננקור ברכתה ושירתה. תושבחתה ונחמתה. דמירן בעמה ואמרו אמן. יהי שלם הרבה מן שמיים. וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן. עושה שלום במרומה, הוא יעשה שלום. עלינו ועל כל ישראל, ואמרו אמן. We ask the source of peace to send peace to all those who grieve, and comfort us in our grieving wherever we may be. Together we say, Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this Shabbat. Thanks to our clergy team and our entire staff for putting these services together. And a special shout out and thanks to our Melton community, our teachers, our Melton director, Rabbi Karen Strock, Karen Goldenstein, all of our incredible faculty that make this program such a special part of the WISE community. We're grateful to you for the Torah that you teach. And to all of our Melton students, we're grateful to you for the Torah that you learn and spread and live. And I know that many of you are joining for a virtual Shabbat dinner this evening, which gives me a great sense of joy and happiness and such a beautiful way to observe that mitzvah that we spoke about earlier of honoring and remembering the Sabbath day and keeping it holy. May you and we go from strength to strength as we learn, live, and spread Torah together. Shabbat Shalom. יום זה לישראל, הורה ושמחה, הורה ושמחה, הורה ושמחה, שבת מנוחה, הורה ושמחה, הורה ושמחה, שבת מנוחה. יום זה לישראל, הורה ושמחה, הורה ושמחה, הורה ושמחה, שבת מנוחה. הורה ושמחה, הורה ושמחה, שבת מנוחה. יום זה לישראל. הורה ושמחה, הורה ושמחה, הורה ושמחה, שבת מנוחה. הורה ושמחה, הורה ושמחה, שבת מנוחה. ישמח משה. Yismach Moshe Bemaz narchel ko Bemaz narchel ko Bemaz narchel ko יום זה לישראל, הורה ושמחה, הורה ושמחה, הורה ושמחה, שבת מנוחה, הורה ושמחה, הורה ושמחה, שבת מנוחה. יום זה לישראל, 
Shabbat Menuhah, Ora Vesimcha, Ora Vesimcha, Shabbat Menuhah. 